Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to take backup of a database in MySQL. Um, MySQL dump is used to take a logical backups of a database uh, in MySQL server. This video I have divided into four steps. Uh, we will create a backup directory where we will take the backup uh, or save the backups. Uh, and we will, uh, second step, we will change the ownership of that backup directory to MySQL. So MySQL has uh, all the rights to write the data to that uh, backup directory. We'll create a backup user that we'll use in MySQL dump to create the backup. So, and finally, we'll use the MySQL dump. We'll provide the username, password, and then we have to tell which database we want to for the backup. And we we'll provide the directory where the backup will be going. And as we have done in the above steps, like we will create, we creating a backup directory. And finally, we will be creating a, or telling the file name you know, that will be backup file name. Okay, so let's go ahead and perform the demo and take a detailed look at how exactly these four steps are going to work for us. Um, in the previous uh, videos, uh, as you have seen that I was performing a two ty type of tasks, one on the Windows and one on the Linux. Uh, same thing I'm going to do here. First of all, let's say if you are in Windows, uh, what you need to do, you need to go to the bin directory. That's where your MySQL dump is. Um, so most of the time you are going to find this one on C program files, MySQL, MySQL server, whatever, 5.7 or 8.0. Then you are going to go to the bin. Um, that's where your MySQL dump is. Um, okay, so you will open this uh, and uh, then uh, open a command line and say cd and paste the path okay now you are in the bin and you can run uh, mysql dump right uh, here okay the same way we will run in the uh, linux box uh, but as uh, your folder structure will be a little different so decide whatever the folder you want to write the backup uh, okay so uh, we know how to run from the windows uh, all those steps so what we have we will take in the linux same step pretty much you are going to take here give the permission to the folder uh, to the mysql service uh, which is running the mysql service so at least it has permission to write the data all right, so I'm going to close this Windows part of it and then go to the Linux box. Most of the time people are Unix using Linux boxes for the MySQL servers. Okay, IT node 1. And change appearance so we can see what we are typing here. Hit open. Okay, my username, password. Okay, looks good. Let me make it a little bigger so we can have more space to work with. All right, great. So I'm going to make myself a super user because I don't want to type my password many, many times here. Okay, so first of all, I would like to create a directory. I have written all these steps here in my SQL workbench. So we can copy paste most of the stuff and I will keep repeating what we are doing here. First of all, we are making a directory and in under the root, and it's called MySQL Backup. Hit enter, and this directory is created. If you want to see yourself where you are, you are. I am in under the home and hsad, but I need to go to the root. Now I'm in the root, and I can do ls minus la, and I can see that the directory is right here. The who is the owner? Root. But I would like to change the ownership of this directory to MySQL. So MySQL will have all the permissions to write the data to it. So this is the command we are going to use. C ch owner change owner dat dash or recursive mysql colon mysql and then provide the directory path okay good pretty easy so that's done and uh, now if we'll uh, uh, let's clear the screen ls minus la and you can see that uh, the ownership has changed to mysql that's uh, good next step is uh, we are going to create the backup user so we have to log into the mysql first to create this uh, user okay i'm going to go ahead and uh, log into the mysql so clear that screen mysql dash u dash root dash p and uh, let me provide a password okay now uh, if i would like to take a look on the current users uh, so i can take a look say um, select user comma host from uh, mysql dot user that will show me the list of the uh, existing uh, users uh, so you can tell from here i have the backup user already there what i'm going to do here i'm going to drop that user so drop user backup why i'm dropping it because i want to create uh, uh, everything from scratch 
okay the backup user is uh, dropped now we can use uh, the script to create it as we copied it from the right here okay create user backup uh, and uh, we have a backup local host because we are running on we will be running the backup from the same or we will be running the commands from the same server so this user is not going to log in to, from the remote server if it would be then we have to provide the password but as it is going to be logged into from the same server we will be using a local host here identify by the password uh, and uh, that's good for now the user is created and next part is the uh, given the permissions so I'm going to go ahead and provide all the permissions what I think that's necessary so one thing uh, right here okay uh, if flush privileges now looks good so we have grand select lock table lock views the reload replication even trigger on asterisk dot asterisk means everything to backup user at the rate local host um, looks good all right if you guys hear some noises around here it's uh, actually saturday evening and kids are home and uh, i have uh, one cat her name is pepper she's making a lot of noises as well so ignore the noises and let's concentrate uh, on the task uh, what we are doing i'm uh, trying to finish this tutorial for you guys uh, and uh, i hope i will be able to achieve something here and uh, make it happen over the weekend some videos all right then last step what we have to do from here we have to run the mysql dump then have to say dash dash user and provide the username here we have backup to a user if you remember we just have created above okay and uh, dash dash password you provide the password okay provide the database name so if i go back to the mysql show databases so i can see whatever the databases i have and here i have tech versus it new okay that that is the database i would like to take the backup and uh, then where I would like to take a backup to the MySQL backup directory under the root uh, here. And then uh, what is the name of the uh, backup file? Tech Brothers IT new dot SQL SQL. Okay, that's the name of it. I'm just going to copy this whole command and paste it. So I have to exit from the uh, MySQL command line. Then uh, I have to, I'm on the shell now. And uh, here I'm going to paste that. Hit okay. And hit enter. Once you hit enter, it is uh, giving you a warning. Okay, using a password on the command line uh, interface can be insecure. That's right. And uh, if you notice that uh, I did not use um, uh, root password here, so uh, still like uh, it's not a great thing to use it here. Uh, but uh, we don't have a whole lot of options here. If you want to type it, you can say dash p instead of a whole password here. And uh, let's see if you would like to take this one, something like this. Uh, like if you don't want to have the password right there you can say dash p sorry <laughs> totally okay dash p and then uh, you don't have to have a password here and then hit, hit enter and it will ask you for the password before you take in the um, backup so my password and dollar sign one two three okay so it take the, took it, it overrode the backup all right so that's the one of the thing you can provide the password if you don't want to provide it you say dash p and just type the password but later on we will use the cron jobs where we will not be typing these passwords they will save those passwords in some places and run the backup job so all right so now we can go to the let's see where we are we are under the root and uh, let's see we have to go cd mysql backup directory ls minus la and uh, you can see that uh, this file is created uh, if i want to check the file size uh, i can see say du minus ach and that will give me the size of this file so it is 5.3 mb size okay if i'm going to read this file i can do it cat uh, tech versus it new dot sql and you can see that it is uh, giving me a lot of uh, uh, insert statements so okay so it has create tables and uh, insert statements and everything so if i want to go further down there so let's uh, see um say cat and if i would like to say grep create table let's see create and what it show me okay so there are create tables and all those kind of things this has a lot of insert statements so that's why one of the thing i want to tell you like um, you know this um, you have alt table uh, enable keys so this has tons of records uh, that i have inserted in this uh, uh, these tables uh, so if you want to go back you can view pretty much everything in this file okay um, 
what uh, we will uh, take from here um, that's uh, pretty much it uh, for now uh, my C my sql dump that's the utility you are going to use to take the backup backup of a database uh, and uh, these are four steps so we don't have to perform these steps so the one we did above uh, in the next demos so uh, we will be doing a more like okay how to take the backup of all the databases how to uh, backup uh, of um, um, database uh, uh, in single file you know how to create the backup so into multiple files so we'll create a lot more demos here for with the mysql dump and uh, we'll learn uh, try to learn a lot of different options what is uh, what are available in mysql dump and uh, i hope this video will help uh, thanks very much for watching uh, and i appreciate your time uh, see you guys in the next video